In its first home game, the Quinnipiac men's ice hockey team defeats Holy Cross 4-2, sweeping the weekend series and moving to 2-0 on the season. Good afternoon, everyone. Andrew Badillo joined alongside Victoria Butigliano. And Victoria, what was your main takeaway from the game today? My main takeaway from the game was Thomas Aldworth. He's a freshman, he's brand new to the team, and he saw a lot of minutes in this game. In those minutes, he had a goal, he had two assists, he was bending around players. You heard Tim Clifton in the press conference say, this player is so fast, all of a sudden he gets the puck and he is skating through players down the ice. He's a player that, like Rand Pecknold said, is a lot like Sam Annis and Landon Smith, big names for the Bobcats starting out his season. So he's a player that like, we need to look at throughout the rest of the season because in this game and throughout the entire weekend, he was a force to be reckoned with. He played on the first line the first game, the second line the second game. So his like entire stance this first series was very impressive to me. And Quinnipiac a team last year that struggled to score at times. This year it seems that they have much more depth in the forward lines. Victoria, moving along, there were points in this game where it seemed like there were breakdowns in the defensive zone. Uh, on both Holy Cross goals, the, the goal scorers were pretty much wide open or underneath the circles. What were your takeaways from what happened in the defensive zone for Quinnipiac? Well, Andrew, the first thing we need to note is that they are missing a huge defensive player in Dan Federico. Him leaving to graduation, he was a big player on the ice. Connor Clifton played his first two seasons with him every single game, so they're missing a big chunk of their team on defense. Coming off that, Connor Clifton is learning to play with a new player, Chase Prisky. You saw him out on the ice. He looked strong, but still, he's a new player. He has nerves. He, there's a lot the players need to learn, and I just think in the defensive zone, the players need to focus on staying with their man. Um, when the puck comes down the ice, they can't be drawn towards the puck. They need to stay with their player so that when the puck gets past the other players, there's someone there and they don't have an open net because that is how the, the both of the goals were scored for um, Holy Cross. Rand Pecknell did mention post game that defense was an issue for his team in this game, but moving forward it's something that they would like to address. And moving along now to the physicality of the game, you saw Tim Clifton and Connor Clifton get in it with Holy Cross players at the end of the game. Tiff, Kif, Tim Clifton in the post game presser kind of laughed at it. He was like, it's just the battle out there. Mm -hmm. Victoria, what you see with the physicality in the game? I thought it was a great addition to the game. I mean, the Bobcats have always been a very physical team, love to get into the other team's heads. I saw this in the game yesterday at Holy Cross, and we saw it again today. Soren Janssen had three different penalties in the game, and I think that's one way that the Bobcats are able to get, their, get more into the game and get more into the heads of the other players, and it definitely showed in both these games. I mean, they won the first game 5-3, to three. they won this game 4-2, to two. Um, definitely an important part of their play and it showed. Well, that'll do it for us from High Point Solutions Arena, Quinnipiac defeating Holy Cross 4 to 2. If you want to check out more on our website, visit it at q30television.com for Victoria Rutigliano. I'm Andrew Badillo. Have a good one.